Right, hello. Uh, good afternoon. Um, as promised, I um, I said ooh, maybe two weeks ago now that I was going to put my Luke Bespin figures in the cabinet, which I did a backdrop for uh, at that time, and I finally got round to doing it. So here we have the finished result. It's um, it's actually better than I expected because. One or two people had said it might not show up too well. I mean, I have got the flash on, um, but I'm, I'm actually quite pleased. They've, 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 they're not hidden as, as, as I thought they would be. And um, I think they look okay. And I'm actually quite, yeah, I'm, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with it. It's, um, it's just taking a bit of getting used to because I've literally just finished putting them in. So what I will do is go through them. Uh, as I said, I've got uh, things on top. But this is all in the process of uh, changing. Um, I've got mocks, I've got one mock there, but there will be more soon. Um, excited about that. Uh, sorry about the flash, the, um, the reflection, but uh, this isn't about my mocks today. This is about my loose collection. So let's get the cabinet open. These are from Lidl, as many people who collect Star figures will know. Very good cabinets, perfect for displaying figures. Um, I'm not sure many people have probably got one full of the same figure, uh, but there we go. This is the joy of collecting Star Wars. There is uh, Star Wars vintage. You can you can go in whatever direction you want with your collection. And uh, you can obviously tell one of the directions I've gone in. <laughs> you don't need two guesses. So I'll go through it. I'm not gonna go in major detail, but I will go through my collection. Uh, I've not done it for a while. Um, this is the Lil Leddy, Lily Leddy line. What you can see there on the left is the Blonde Retorno, which was the first release. And then you've got the Regresso, which is the a different sculpt. Can you see? It's a wide head, head sculpt, lighter boots, and they came in brown and olive hair. Uh, now, the one at the end there is quite a unique figure. Not many of those around. That's an overstock head. Um, it's on a Regresso body, raised bar, but it's... Um, it's painted brown, as you can see. Much more brown than the, the brown Regresso. Um, never released on a card. And as I say, that was just the head, the overstock. And that's the process. The, you had the First of all, you had the, the head, the eyes were painted on, and then the hair. So that's the three stages of, of that of that head. Um, so that was a, a, a real nice find I got. I've got the unpainted overstock legs and arms there as well. Uh, these are a couple of... Um, Overstock legs that I picked up. These are test paint. You're not sure if you can tell, but it's actually pink paint on that middle one, and that's like a red. Um, so they were overstock legs with test paint on, uh, and then we move to Spain, from Mexico to Spain, and these are the POC. These are the early release. Um, that's the five line, first of all. So that was the Kader figure that was shipped over to Spain, and painted. Um, and these are the uh, the two line, which were the Unitoy, uh, and again painted. Um, you've got the dark hair, the dark boots, dark hair, light boots, the lighter hair uh, with the light boots. And one at the end, he's, he's a mixed bag. He's a, He's got the both boots. So that's a real nice, unique figure I was uh, lucky to, to get. Uh, keeping on Spain, these are the, 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 the PPB, which were later released in Spain. These are the ones that were actually made in Spain. They're own sculpt. Uh, I find them beautiful figures, to be honest with you. The flash is on, so you can see now the difference with the boots. Now, on the left, you've got the Caramel, which was the first release of the PPB. Um, now, that's a Caramel left boot. Well, our right. You can even see a bit of the paint on his on his right leg. Um, but again, like the, the POC, um, it's an odd coloured boot. And I don't know why. I, I don't think I've ever seen a PPB with that colour on the boot before, because they come in Caramel, chocolate, I've got two different shades of chocolate there. Um, they both come with the unpainted hip. Um, the caramel comes with the painted hip. There is actually a caramel unpainted hip in circulation. Um, I'm hoping one day to get it. I know the, the chap who's got it, but uh, uh, he, there is, it does exist, um, but very rare. Um, and then, as I say, from chocolate, it goes to dark, and the dark comes unpainted hip and painted hip. As you can see there, the one on the left painted, and the one on the right unpainted. So you've got the three main boot colours, caramel, chocolate and dark, but within that they do come different colours, as I said, different shades. You can see the chocolate there are very different. 
the caramel tends just to come that one colour. Um, uh, and then we've got the next, now we've got the Hong Kong. The Well, first of all, we've got the China. There's the China. It came slightly different colours, olive and brown, just like the Regresso. Um, and now we go on to the Hong Kong factory. So first of all, Kader. Uh, this is the blonde Kader. As you can see, just some variations I've got there. There's your standard blonde Kader. Um, but then his eyebrows are just raised a little bit. Different coloured boots. That's an odd coloured boot. Swinging down. I've got even more blonde Kaders. An odd, odd boot. Um, uh, the, again, the eyebrows even higher. He's got a bit carried away there. They're on the head. Eyebrows there, just, um, off off centre. That's one where the the eyes are raised. If you can just see the printed higher. Uh, he has a dimpled chin. He's got a wart, and he's got mascara. So yeah, all different uh, and different boots. So that's uh, how many blonde kaders can you get in one collection, basically. And I've got a few. Um, moving on to the brown haired kaders. That's the brown eye kader. Um, one of my favourite variants. Um, in my top five recent, I did a video of, uh, and these are your standard caders. So the hair does differ. You get kind of an orangey uh, brown, the brown as well, and the differ. These, these as you can uh, as you can see, the the limbs do fade on the caders. Um, but yeah, just facially a little bit different. Boot colours varying a little bit. Uh, it's like a translucent face that's degraded. So that's the brown caders. Carrying on with Hong Kong. This is a Smile Factory, uh, it's the second factory in Hong Kong. Uh, these are the Blonde Smile, as you can see, different coloured boots there. The first one, uh, more of a, a light brown, the middle one a bit more darker, and then you've got the Tan boot, uh, which is one I remember as a child. Um, um, it's very much of a, a bright yellow, the, the Blonde on the Smile figures, I find. More than the more than the blonde on the kid is it, it does seem brighter. Uh, keeping me smile uh, onto the ginger line. There's the dark ginger, the very rare variants, and then you've just got a slight light ginger, even more lighter, uh, and then you're almost going to brown now with the hair on the smiles. Uh, and moving along, you've got the uh, one line um, as opposed to the two line. Uh, so it's a short short shot with a one line on the back and then you go into the olive hair and then you've got the no country of origin altogether so it's a smile but with no no country of origin on the back it's just a it's just a blank uh, stamp nothing on um, I'll do a video on those actually uh, at some point in a bit more detail uh, and then we go on to the the third and final Hong Kong factory which is Unitoy so there you've got the blonde Unitoy uh, came with the early release with the dark boots um, the hands turn peachy, um, so I can in between one that because the hands turn peachy on the on the lighter boot, as you can see there. Uh, and as you can see, that that's the more common one, the, the peachy hands. Um, that's just a degraded one I've got, where the hands have turned like a a grey blue, if you like. And then we go on to the the Unitoy gingers, which I just recently did a, a video of. Um, there's the again the early release dark boots. Uh, that's the Palatoy Meccano figure, which I did a video on just recently the other day. Uh, brown facial details, uh, lighter ginger. Um, in fact, that's the Meccano one. Sorry, the 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 the, the light ginger there. They're the two early early toys, um, light and dark hair. So we carry on. This one, uh, I'm, I'm pretty convinced it's been touched up. Actually, I've scrubbed it with washing up liquid in hot water and a very, very firm brush, and it still remains on. I think it is it is the same figure as the one next to it. You can see the colour of the boots. He's just been, I think that's just been uh, custom painted, to be honest, but it does make me laugh, and it is quite a different ginger. It, it, it stays on, so he's there for now, um, uh, in, his, in his little spot. So, And now we move on to the mystery figure. So that's the combination of the Kada, um, and the Unitoy. Uh, it's got the stamp of Unitoy, which is two line, but it, uh, at, at a glance, and certainly to look at, not even at a glance, it looks like the Kader, uh, the same sculpt on the head, but it has more of the peachy hands like the Unitoy. And that was the, the unpainted hip, again, what I featured in my top five recently. 
the only Kenner Luke Vespi release which is as unpainted hip. The only other one is the is the PPV, which I've just showed earlier. Uh, so there's the standard one with the painted hip, just slightly different coloured boots. Uh, degraded hand, one's degraded, one hasn't, and that's where both hands are degraded. Um, they're not official variants, but they just make for it. Just shows how some of the figures change. So that's all my Hong Kong. Now this is one of my favourite sections. These are my factory errors, which all uh, have some kind of flaw. That one's pretty obvious. The uh, on the right hip, unpainted. This one on the right hip, the whole right leg is unpainted on the boot. It's a real favourite. Uh, you can see there, just a slight unpainted. Um, Part of his belt, you've got the back belt, the front belt unpainted, part of his sabre holster unpainted, the whole right hip unpainted with the holster. That's actually an unpainted hand. Um, that's a short shot hand. Can you see the hand hasn't fully developed? And if you can just look at the fully being made, and if you just look on that one, that's a short shot sabre where the full hilt hasn't been uh, finished off. So I thought that makes a nice combination, a short shot hand and a short sort of sh shot saber. There's the hand where it hasn't even uh, got to the stage of a hand. And his left hip there, unpainted. Uh, speaking of paint, there's a couple of sloppy paint jobs on the face there, on the left, the mustard hair. And on the right, proper paint splash on his face. Uh, there's a leddy with a bit of a mess done to his face. I'm not sure what happened on that one. Uh, and yeah, that's, the, oh, and we, now we go to the, the eyes. These are the uh, the special gang, as you can see, facially again, oh, facially again. Let's get this right. You can see there, shifty eyes. He's a bit distorted. He's looking over there. He's got eyes on his head. In fact, he hasn't even got eyes at all on his face. He's got them on the back of his head. Um, unpainted face. Uh, and that's also an unpainted face. I think the hair's just worn off on that one. Different coloured boots. So there we have my loose collection. Um, I didn't want to go on too long, but uh, let's just finish off with my baggies. That's my China and my Kenna, made in Hong Kong. Uh, that's a China figure on the left, the raised bar. And that is the, the, the uh, Brown Eyes Kader again. And there's my puppy, the Japanese release. Um, it's a smile blonde in the, uh, the baggie. Um, and, that, and there we have my Luke Bestman's finally in the cabinet. So it's, it's a lot more organized. Um, didn't take me too long. More things to be added to the cabinet over the coming weeks. I've got some things on order, so I'll be, uh, I'll be showing those on my video. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. What it does now, it gives me more room now to do a proper display for my Luke Skywalker Farm Boy uh, collection, Focus. And I'll be doing that in the coming days and doing a video of that. Uh, so stay tuned. Please comment, please like, please subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks to the people who have. And until uh, next time, cheerio.